In 2018, UN Women, in association with African Women and Child Future Services, embarked upon an extensive project to document stories from women in political leadership in Kenya. The object was to detail reasons why there still remain such few women in key positions of political power. Out of the many themes discussed, the importance of mentorship was continually raised. The power of mentorship in political leadership in Kenya should never be underestimated. Mentorship has been an enabler for most women, and when one has access to someone who has succeeded, it gives them confidence that they too can do it and validates their ambitions. Almost every woman politician has had a mentor to whom they are thankful. Mentorship is important to women because you need that person who has a deep understanding of women political leadership, who's walked the talk, who's faced challenges, so that they can be able to tell you, don't do it the way I did it, this is a better way. And so you need that person who keeps telling you, come on, you can do this, you have what it takes, move on, change strategy, do it this way. So mentorship is very, very important. It is very important to have a person to mentor you. Personally, if I had a person to mentor me for 20 years, I could not have struggled. I've struggled for 20 years. My political journey was 20 years. So it is very important. And I believe if we get a program that we can mentor the young girls in schools, we can mentor in, uh, other ladies who are interested either in political seats or even other. Our women do not even bother do, going for anything. Nationally, of course, we have great women who opened up the space for us, who actually had to go through so much for us to be where we are right now. We have uh, the likes of um, Ngilu, uh, Martha Karua, and women who've just shown a lot of resilience in, in their work. Each one of them is unique in their own ways and how they, they've, they've conducted their politics. I've had Mama Ngilu, she gave me an opportunity to be her, one of her best trainers in Kitui. So I would go in Kitui, understand women in Kitui, what they are doing. Jokindung is also one of the persons who really trained me in the early ages. So I've had different mentors at uh, different levels. We really need to mentor the women who get into politics on how to manage. My executive class that I did, so I did a, a class on leadership and management. It really gave me a, empowered me on how to balance and allocate time for the family, for parliament, for the constituency, and also for myself. Because sometimes um, my first year, I actually like almost was admitted in the hospital for a, um, a week. I just had pains and I, I, I couldn't really explain where I was coming from. But I was exhausted. I was trying to do everything. For young women, I will talk quickly of mentors. Let them learn from other more senior women. Because it's all about learning, learning, learning. It is very easy to have a highly qualified person go into politics and fail because they're not learning from what others have learned. We need to learn from one another. We need capacity building and we need it early, about a year or so. Kile mimi nataka uh, kuambia wa mama wale nataka kuwa kiongozi. Kiongozi sio kifua, kiongozi ni kujitolea. Na unaweza kujitolea bila kutegemea pesa pia. Kwa sababu ili kidogo uko nayo, chea na wenzako wale wana. Na hiyo pia itakupatia jina yako inuke pole pole. Kile mimi naona, anza kutoka chini. Ukipanda vyole pole watu wa kusoe. Unajipia watu wa kukusoea ni muhimu sana. Lakini ukiwa unafungia watu inche, 
Alafu naenda kutafuta kiti. Watu watasema, "Ah, hii anavunga kila siku nyumba mlango." Tukimpatia kiti, si tatufungia saidi. Kwa hivyo ningesidi tu kuambia wamama wajitolee, tujaribu tuongelee cho wamama. Sababu unaweza kusimama hapo laini na wamama wakuache. Alafu kitu wanaume ndio wanakusupport. women who've really stood strong. Women from our own country, who in the past really uh, had so much difficulty, you know, doing anything. There are women who have shaped the politics of this country. And maybe we are actually reaping from the work they've done, they all did in the past. When I went for first time to run for office, the person who actually lifted me from the crowd was Professor Maria Nzomo. And she just came to me and told me, and you, which office are you running for? And I said, I am not running for any office. I'm just going to support those who are running. She said, you are running for Kitui Central. I said, no. And she told me, we will train you. So, University of Nairobi, Professor Maria Nzomo, Professor Wanjiku Kabira and others trained us. For women, it is not automatic. The mentorship gap within the political sector is still wide, as there are not enough women in positions of power available to mentor the thousands of potential female political aspirants. One of the key strategies must be to change how society imagines what women and girls can do. We continually need to produce more female political role models now to enable everybody to change their perceptions on gender and allow all women an equal standing within the political landscape of Kenya.